The investigation continues tonight into a plane crash that killed a candidate in the race for Iowa's open U.S. Senate seat. Libertarian candidate Dr. Doug Butzier was killed when the small plane he was piloting crashed near Dubuque Regional Airport. As authorities try to figure out just what caused the crash, CBS 2 News reporter Matt Hamill is in Dubuque with reaction from Butzier's friends and even opponents. Matt. Just Scott and Tiffany, we are in a neighborhood here, but we are close enough that all day today we have been able to hear planes taking off from the Dubuque Airport, which is just over that hill. It is a place where Dr. Doug Butts here had taken off and landed many, many times, but coming back from Des Moines last night fell short. The uh, fuselage was on fire. Neighbors say it sounded like thunder when the single engine Piper hit a tree right next to the house where Chris Tiggis' mom lives. Well, I heard the plane hit the ground and I jumped up and ran to the window and looked and seen the fire. While the NTSB investigates to see if weather or something else is the cause, friends are remembering Butzier as a doctor, traveler, and politician who lived life large. The world lost a great person last night. Dr. Tom Schreiber says Doug ran for Senate with only one goal, to help Iowans. I know he had an absolute belief that he, it was his responsibility to make the world a better place by his presence. It's bad for patients, it's bad for hospitals, it's bad for doctors. We talked with Butzer about health care just two weeks ago in Iowa City. Rick Stewart sat next to him as a competitor, but also as an admirer. All of us with the single problem of uh, letting our voices be heard so that Iowans would have a choice. Friends say that's what Doug was doing Monday night when he crashed, campaigning for a better Iowa even as he worked on a new youth center at home in Dubuque. One of our last meetings about that facility, he, you know, pounded his fist and he said, dang it, this is, this is going to happen one way or another. I don't care what, what I got to do. I'm going to make it happen. That plane still here tonight. Now, friends say Doug had a few close calls in the past, some emergency landings with a stalled engine, but that he was an expert pilot and always walked away unscathed, except for this time. NTSB says it hopes to have much more information to tell us tomorrow. For tonight, we're in Dubuque. Matt Hamill, CBS2 News, 10 at 10.